Hey everyone. So someone was asking on the the forum about the new um, random walk subsurface scattering stuff. So I thought I'd do a quick video because it's easier than typing it out. Um, so as far as I can tell, the, it's included in every every area that used to have subsurface scattering before. So just load up the principled shader. Um, turn on subsurface scattering and that will turn on your random walk um, subsurface scattering um, you can see it on here already I've got um, the denoiser on so it looks a bit blurry at first but it does it does get a bit better but you can see it here like the back scattering and if I if you so this is for uh, back scattering is minus one and then full forward scattering is one. Um, so at minus, well, I don't know, that sort of level you get full back scatter, which you can see there, which is really cool. Um, maybe I'll reduce this quite a bit to 10 mil and then you can see it just on on these, on the lip and on the fingers of the dragon fingers claws of the dragon that is quite quite a really quite a nice scattering effect there it's really nice actually um, if I change the color of this to maybe like a reddish color and then change so from what I can gather, this is is not directly the colour it will scatter, it's the radius um, which sounds confusing but basically it's the RGB value of which of the colours that get scattered first versus last. So if I go if I reduce this it's going to scatter blue last which means it's going to scatter more red and green which equals like a yellowy a yellowy color so you can choose this as a color but you can also crank these to over um, 100 percent if you want more scattering it just means you have to reduce the distance sometimes to compensate maybe to three mil or something um, but generally you don't really need to do that but so far when I've been playing with this it's it's really quite nice you can do some pretty cool stuff with it so as well as this the and then there's this is another material I prepared earlier which will probably look very similar to that one um, with quite a strong back scatter effect, it's really nice. Um, but you can also use any of these. So along here, down here, you've got the material components. Now these SSS things are also, as far as I can tell, using the um, random walk which is quite cool. So this is the one that I showed on the forum the other day um, where I'm using two subsurface scatter nodes sort of added together using one of the material I can't remember where they are, yeah that so the add materials so one of them is full blue and scattering forwards so uh, towards the camera and then the other one is full orange scattering back like back scattering um, and you can increase this to whatever you want so it looks absolutely ridiculous I'm quite impressed I I quite like it um, and this one I just wanged on top because I thought um, to hell with it I've gone crazy with the subsurface scattering why not add an iridescence shade on top so if you follow 
this through, all I'm doing is layering up material. So there's two SSS nodes, one added to the other, the blue added to the orange, and then um, this this one handles the reflectance. So anything with an R in it is reflectant reflection. Anything with a T in it is transmission, which is effectively transparency, like glass. So, and then I've added this iridescent Fresnel over the top. So if I put the refraction index up to something crazy, you end up with really strong coloured reflections. Um, it might be more obvious if I just plug that in by itself. Yeah. So you get these really cool iridescent sort of reflections over the top, uh, which is just this node. I think, I guess you can just hike this up to whatever you want and you Uh, I do like the denoiser, it's really fast. If I turned it off it would still be a bit noisy, but you get the idea anyway. Um, yeah, so if I pump that back in there, you get this crazy... <laughs> It's like when you get a new toy to play with, you turn everything on at once. It's sort of like that. This crazy rubber dragon with iridescent reflection. <laughs> but it's so cool because if I grab that area light and just move it, hang on, I'll get the node editor out of the way. If I just drag this about, it affects the. Uh, subsurface scattering in a really cool way. Look at that. Crazy days, that is so nice. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. It's fairly straightforward. Um, if you've got any questions, give me a shout. Cheers.